Okay guys, so first thing it's going to be remove remove your battery. So already lose the wires. Next step it will be remove this uh, bolt right here with the T uh, T20 here and the other side. And on this one, the plastic, you just go clip in, if you see this. So you just pop them off. Use the 20 over here too. 20, T20 over here. And then that T20 over here and over here too on this side. So you got that. And you can, you know, same way we remove the, the piece right here. We just pop them off. Remove those. Those right here and they pop it off. So yeah, that's the way to go on that one. And then we still have this one attached to it because we didn't lose them all together. So. Okay, so we got the whole pieces right there. We got the, they come all together, but we just forgot to get the whole thing. Don't forget to remove the gas cap first. Then this pop with T20s right here, T20s, T20 right there, T20 right here, and another T20. Same thing over here. The way this clip goes is like, just push this in like that and then just pull it. Same thing over here. Just pop them off, all them. Remove this, I don't take all this off so I don't think that I need it to. So I'm gonna keep it right there. And now we're just gonna keep digging into it. This one don't work so we got this clamp right there. And uh, now we're gonna remove the sew frame right here, rear, rear bar reinforcement or whatever you call this one right here and then we're gonna see if uh, how this thing goes and keep recording it that's the way to go now that's how it looks on this bar guy uh, we're gonna need the uh, t45 one right there the other one right there and there is one more but it go inside so what i recommend is remove this one first here and the other one right here right there inside and then remove this the outside ones with the t45 and then you can get the bar out right on all right guys so now removing brake lines so i'm removing from here you will see from where at, right there brake lines so i use the 716 on this side and i hold it on the other side uh, with the 17 which it goes right here let me see where it goes right there with the 17 you see right there 17 and 17 right there i hold it with the 17 and not loose from here with the 716 <clears throat> sorry about that 716 right there both lines now i'm gonna remove the abs sensor which goes right there you see right there i'm gonna remove abs sensor so i can get it out from here or see if I can get the connector somewhere over here so I can bring the whole thing down okay, so for the for the ABS sensor bolt it's gonna be uh, E8 let me see right there yeah E8 and then I just gonna use this small ratchet let me see if I can get this one in too yeah that's the other way Hold on. let me get it right okay so E8 right here Removing this one right here. All right, let me see. Okay, right there. Yeah, it should be E A now on this one. Let me see if I can get it out. Yeah, it should come off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, e A right there. guys so this is the way to go on this one so make sure you don't lose this or get the 10 millimeters ready to hold this on the back like right here and then do that with the e e8 on on front of it because this is the way to go and then what i did i removed from the whole clip right there i removed the whole thing so i can keep it in place back there i'm gonna push it back so i don't damage when i drop the whole thing now Okay, so that's right there. That's out of the way now, no ABS. Now we go on to, uh, because we already moved these brake lines. If you see, they already loose right there. This one, 
it like loose already. So now we can pop the little clips on top of uh, this thing. Let me see if we can get it out. Well, I have to kick them on with the hammer or something. Oh no, it comes. It comes up by then like that. Hold on, let me see. I got that one off, I kicked that one off, and on the next one I'm gonna see that one. Okay, so I just pop this off. Don't lose these clips. Now we can get the lines. Let me see if we can get this right here. Now we can pull this out, the lines out right there. You just twist a little bit and it should come off. I'll mark them, you know, with the one and two just in case so I don't lose them. I don't know. I, I, I don't lose the way to go. Let me twist this a little bit. And it should come off. Oh, okay. Okay, they lose. One more. Uh, uh, with your brake lines, guys. Oh. Uh, Man, I did it probably too late. Uh, I, I lost too much fluid, so I recommend to use some clamps, you know, on both lines so you don't lose too much fluid, okay? So don't forget to get some clamps ready when you remove the lines so you can, <clears throat> you don't lose too much fluid. One more ABS sensor left, which is that one right there and goes all the way down. So I'm gonna see if it has a connector somewhere. Not a half thing. Thing is, so we got the other sensor right there too which it goes all the way down here we have to remove it too right here and this one right here right there right here so it goes all the way back to right here too we just pop them off This up. Okay, so we got a loose one. Hold that. Okay, from here we got a loose. Hold this up. Got loose right there. Okay, so keep this back here. Right there, just in case. All right, so on this one, take the cup right there, little cover right on that hole, and then with the T20, remove that thing, and this this plastic is where your computer hiding right there. See what is it at? It's right there. And this clips, they just press in on the little white. See the little white things right there? It has a cup all the way around. Another one, you got a cup in there, so you just have to pop them off. See another one right here. So you just pop this out, just trying to do easy on it so you don't break them off. And then this plastic, this cover should come off, okay? Okay, I got it off by like this one. So that's, then I just press in and pop this off. We got both connectors out. This thing, you just go down, I, I believe so. And this one, see I can make it? Yeah, you just go down so we can probably pull out from the bottom. Yeah, I got the knotted clamp somewhere in there, but it's already loose on that side. So computer loose. Break night. Now we have to remove uh, probably the uh, fuel line, which when I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna remove the, because I was testing, you know, injectors, compression and everything. I got the injector loose right here, connectors. So I'm just gonna remove the 10, one 10 right here, the other 10 right here, so I don't have to unplug from there. And then I'm gonna pop the whole injector thing up. And then uh, we have to lose this. Uh, hold on, let me get on top of that. Okay, guys, few lines. I'm gonna use just the 10 right here. I'm gonna remove the 10 right here. 
10 millimeters. Okay. And they just pop right off, I think. Yeah, it should pop right off. So I can keep this right here. I'm gonna keep, so I don't have to, I'm gonna keep it right there so I don't have to remove the whole thing down. The other thing that I have to remove is gonna be the, um, this, uh, uh, what it calls, I think it's, uh, it calls, um, EVA line or whatever you call them, that one. It's just tricky on this one, so I'm gonna see if I can just get it out like that. Because, uh, let me use both hands, hold on. All right, guys, to remove this uh, EVAT line, what I did is just push this green top inside. Let me show you how. I push this in like that and then pull it out. Okay, easy piece. Okay, so just push in like that. You see inside? Squeeze in and like push in and then pull it out. It should go out. And that's all the thing that you have to remove from this one, I think. I'm not sure about this one, but... um. He maybe come off to, or maybe goes to the motor. I'm not sure, so let me check. Yeah, I'll stay in the motor, so I'm gonna leave right there. The valve, I'm gonna leave the valve right there. And um, I can still not get the, this, um, this thing out. So uh, right now, next step will be uh, probably uh, put the uh, jack wonder and see if we can start dropping the whole thing down all right guys so under here it's going it's going, not going to be easy to record this but uh, remove the plastic goes right here on the bottom with the 10 millimeters got the tens right there all over another one right there and uh on this one the clips let me show you how the clips go on this one so you don't break them off see how it looks on this one see the lip on this one so you have to kind of play with it, you know, like a slide. Bring it up and then bring it down, you know, see how it looks. So you have to jump this right here, you know, to, because it goes like, like in here, but it goes like this. So you have to like kind of squeeze up and then bring it out to get all the mouth without breaking mouth. And then uh, <clears throat> next step will be removing this bar right here. I don't know yet the size of this one, but, uh, we got a couple bolts up there. Why? Because we need to remove the AC lines and we have to remove the heater, uh, heater hose lines or cooling lines right there. So we need to remove this bar. Let me get it out. Okay guys, so uh, to remove this uh, plate right here, the one it was here, the one I shows, it takes uh, E, I mean, I use the E14, but you can use the E13 on this one, so I think this one goes right here, the other one right here. You know what the plate goes right here? So if I use the E14, because I can't find the 13, but it should be 13, I believe, to get this plate out. You know, from here, there is, another, there is a one right there, the one right there, two right here, two right there, and then another two on this side too, so yeah. E brake is gonna be pain because there's no room for it. So I can't really explain what exactly you need to do under here. But what I can recommend is when you're gonna disconnect the e brake, trying to pull the little tray right there, the little thing right here, this one. See my finger? This one right here, pull it down and get you slide your hands inside right here. See right there? Let me get the uh, hold on, let me get the light on. So, oh, see right there. That's where the e-brake goes. So get your hands in that thing. And this one right here, this bar right here. See this one right there. And uh, and this, this hook right on right there. Let me see if I can get the zoom right. Okay, see that right there, hook right on top of it. So you, that's why you have to pull the little thing right, that little thing right there that one down so you can slide this out over and bring it out and the same thing on the other side that's the only way the other side is just harder to get it so that's the only way to move that thing out of the way all right guys so i want to get this clear so you got a better idea uh on the um, e-brakes 
So this is the, the little piece that I told you to pull uh, out, pull, to pull it down, you know, like that. So you got enough room to squeeze the um, the the little uh, e-brake thing off. Of, uh, let me show you where, of right here, hold on, let me see where you are. I should be on top, I believe. Oh, right here. <clears throat> okay, you see how this thing goes? So each piece right here, this bolt right here hooks right on here okay see the, the see this part right here is light into it right like that so that's why you have to pull let me see that's what you have to pull this down when you pull this down oh jesus i pull it too hard but when you let me see i hooked it from the top okay that's how it goes so when when you when you push this down that give you a chance to till this thing and then so you can get it out this side and then till this side and you can get it out that's the way you got this out now with the ac lines you're gonna need i'm gonna show you in a minute what on this one's on the uh, on this clamps for the uh, heater or yeah heater hose and cooling hose things you have to break this off with whatever pliers you got and then try and squeeze with the pliers you know squeeze them like twist it and then with the flathead push them out all three and uh, start with this one then next one this and then this one and the last the last was gonna be on this one so you have enough room you don't have to take this off we did but we don't have to on the ac lines you need to go on this one uh it's gonna be one inch and three quarters and i'm gonna show you what tools you need for so this is the one that I'm using it. I use this one right here, these two. So that's what we need on those to get the AC lines out. And this is the part number on it. And with the AC lines right here, uh, what I recommend is slide the, the green circles, you know, the one I show you on the, on the, on the, on the orange box, I squeeze it in there all the way to the end and then push your line inside at the same time push the green tool in at the same time and then when you got it both squeeze then pull your line out it should come off so ain't not that hard okay so i hope that you understand uh, my explanation <laughs> and um yeah all right so on the uh frame bolts is going i'm using the 14 i mean just regular 14 because i don't have the the other one uh, e18 probably but i'm using the 14 one right there the other one right there one more right here and the other one right here all right guys so on the e-brake i mean on the uh shift cable this is where it goes so i use the eight millimeters on this one and I use the 14 on this one and this one uh what I did is just this one is just loose the car is sitting right on you know on the, on your own tires and everything and I removed this bolt all the way because see it's still holding this on the bottom on the bottom part and then eight millimeters on this one and then what I did with the bushing is I just pop pop the bushing out of the uh, linkage right there I just pop it you know with the with the needles or whatever just they pop out and then that's the that's the way that got it loose but i have to till the engine a little bit i already removed the bolts the bolts that i showed right here and the other one on each corner and then i lift it already and then so now it give me enough room to get the box out of the way the air box this one right here we already got it out so because i left it so i left it so it gave me a chance to get this out now i got enough room and uh i have to deal with this now and see where this one goes and un uh, unplug all this stuff out of, out of the way and, and uh and probably is ready to get out all right guys so we got this lifted already see the way it is now almost 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 got enough room to get it out but i have to leave the other side but we forgot to we still have not removing the uh, um what it calls the uh, uh big boat right here on the starter right there i don't know if you can see it you just have to pop this plastic out you know it goes like this so get this out of the way whatever you can put that one in bring it out whatever 
get it out and then we need to remove this right here we need to remove this one right here okay so this one goes right here with the 13 so we're gonna get this one out the starter okay because that's the main thing right there you have to remove that one out of the way and uh because there is two wires so i'm not sure what exactly the other one should go to the alternator but it's going to be pain get that, that one off so oh man i have to figure that out this one is the one for the uh brake booster so make sure you remove this one before you get the whole thing out uh, you should squeeze this in and get it out but it's going to be kind of tight okay I hear the click. Okay, see right there. Okay guys, so that wire goes to the alternator and it goes right here and then you just have to remove the clip right there. Okay, loose it with the 13 right here. Remove the clip right there, another clip right here. If you see right there, see right there. Another clip and another clip down here. And then it should be loose. Now we just can pull it out. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, pull it out and then stay away from that thing. Now you just have to, uh, let me see if I can focus the thing. I'm gonna cut this right here because they both together so I don't need them together. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get this one out, the starter. Okay, because that's the main thing right there. You have to remove that one out of the way. And uh, because there is two wires, so I'm not sure what exactly. The other one should go to the alternator, but it's gonna be pain get that, that one off. So, oh man, I have to figure that out. Where the, this wire, it should go all the way, but this way, this one is the one for the uh, brake booster. So make sure you remove this one before you get the whole thing out. Uh, you should squeeze this in and get it out, but it's gonna be kind of tight. Okay, I hear the click. Okay, see right there. Get that one out too. Now we have to find a way to get the, uh, this wire the thick wire out because it should go all the way in to the uh, ignition uh, to the um switch i believe to a battery so there is no way that i can pull the whole thing out of the way let me figure that out complete <laughs> okay on this one guys i left the, i removed this bolt with the uh, t45 on each side from the driver's side seat right here. And um, I left this up with the module goes and unplug this connector on this one. Not that one, the other one already unplugged. So it's just hanging right here. Let me see. Yeah, it's just right here. I pull out. So the way it goes is you push this down. See, and then pull this up, pull this back. I mean, to the front and it should come off. See, that's the way it goes. So you just pull out. And then now we're gonna pull it from from this side we're gonna pull it from here so we can just get it out so that's the way to go okay guys so don't forget to pop this off this clip right here pop this off so you can bring it this way so you got access to pull the whole thing out from here because if not you're gonna mess up the wiring right here but now we can pull it Jackie. So we can pull it out. And then now we got it ready out. All right, guys, so we're dropping this off already. See how it looks. It's going down now. But one thing, that don't forget to remove this ground wire right here because we almost, you know, we was pulling this kind of hard. So don't forget, hook these wires. We'll hook these wires with the tin right there. Put the nut back on so you can, you know, you're not gonna lose it. So now we can just start pulling the wires, you know, from the, from the, 
computer. Aquí viene a chequearle aquí que suelta el cable. Que se bajen los cables porque está atorado en algo ahí. No, para abajo este. Ahí está. Ok, so we got that out. We got this. And that's how it goes. Ok, si, dale para arriba. Dale más para arriba todo lo que pongo. ¿Qué tal, Jesse? And that's how that things come out. So, see how the e-brake it's hooking on. So you have to push this plate down. This should go inside, right there. So you push this down to release this e-brake wires, and then just be careful with the uh, AC lines, heater lines. Remember where this one goes, and um, what else? Well, that's it, I think. Now we just have to unplug everything to get the small cylinder head out of the way. But I'm gonna keep recording. I think that's gonna be another video. It should be good to go.